I'll be able to do a picture of that. Okay. What's that? Yeah, but this is just the check in with some tips. What brings you out to the gala tonight? Uh, it's Michael Mayer and, and Rick Miramontes. Um, Michael Mayer was the director of the first show I ever did in New York uh, on a clear day. And um, Rick Miramontes is handling Beautiful, which is um, a show I'm currently doing now. So it's just wonderful. They're like, two, they've done, both of those men have done so much for me personally. So I'm really honored to be here tonight. What brings you out to the gala tonight? They made me come. I was just laying there at home watching TV and then they made me come. They said, it's for Rick. You wouldn't let Rick down, would you? And I said, yeah. And they said, you better not. So here I am, because you know, otherwise O&M will not take my calls anymore. What does O&M stand for anyway? Only matzah? Yes. That's what I do. Michael started my career when I was like 19 years old and put me into Spring Awakening back, back in the day. And so it's really wonderful to be here with him tonight. I. I really look up to him, and he's done a lot for me. You know, he's kind of whipped me into shape over the years, and and uh, I just think he's one of the loveliest and smartest guys I've ever met in this business. And so it's it's almost a little emotional to be here honoring him tonight. You know, it's it's really special. Hey, what brings you out to the gala tonight? Well, I mean, to honor Rick and Michael, um, I did Kinky Boots with Rick, and I think I've done other shows with O and M as well, but. You know, Kinky Boots is really kind of the start of this little rise that I've been having in my career, and 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 Kinky, Bo uh, Kinky Boots was one of my, f you know, favorite shows at that point until Hedwig, of course, and then there's Michael Mayer, who's directed me, and I won a Tony Award for him, and I'm 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 thrilled that they asked me to perform tonight to honor them. Like uh, I'm really nervous, so hopefully I'll do them justice. I'm here to support two incredible men in our industry, but more specifically, uh, I've I've had a, quite a run here with Mr. Miramontes, and I'm you know eternally grateful for the work that he did this year, uh, both for our show, Beautiful, the Carol King musical, and. For me personally, he was always there every time I needed a, a question answered or every event, he was always there and he's always, and you know, for someone who runs a company, you don't often see the person who's in charge actually be there and take personal interest in every single uh, actor and every and every show and he does and he's very special and uh, so that's why I'm, I'm very proud to be here. What has been your experience working with Rick? Well, he has sort of uh, the most subtle touch, do you know? Um, I mean that both literally and figuratively. Um, <laughs> He, uh, yeah, he has a way of just keeping everybody calm, you know, and talking about things in uh, a way that people need to hear, but he doesn't say anything you don't need to hear, and he's very good uh, at, you know, coaching everyone in the cast about how to uh, talk to you guys and, and talk to um, everybody about the show, and um, he did an amazing thing for Gentleman's Guide. You know, it's a show that could have easily... Um, had a different fate. Congratulations. Thank you. How excited are you about tonight? What does a night like this mean to you? A night like this is fantastic because so much of the theater community and the people who put shows together, this is their night. So to be a part of it in a significant way is really exciting. New York Stage and Film is a company that I've worked with. Um, you know, they've been so supportive of me and my work as a writer and as a creator. And, you know, I've had work up there and you know, also Rick and Michael are friends of mine and colleagues of mine, so it's nice to be able to come and support support your people. What has your experience been like working with Rick? Well, it's called Kinky Boots, so I guess the answer would speak for itself. What? He's a hit! He's a big old hit! That's how it's going. What does an organization like New York Stage and Film mean to our industry? Well, I think it's, I feel like it's um, uniquely crafted to give artists an opportunity to work on new material without any production, presentation. There are no rules about how the, how the work has to happen. It just has to happen truthfully for the work. There are more, more money is brought into New York 
by Broadway than all of our sports teams put together. But we don't get that kind of respect. We don't get that kind of respect from the media. We don't get that kind of respect from politicians. So when it comes to an event like this, it reminds everybody the strength of what we do. We have to take advantage of that. I did a workshop of Brooklynite, the show that we're doing this year. I did it last summer. And uh, it's such a freeing, awesome, creative, fun experience. It's very special what they do. Providing this environment for artists, it's awesome. New York Stage and Film is extraordinary because for decades they have given artists the freedom and the nurturing to create, you know, historically some of the great work that will live on forever. And they do it in a very specific, loving way all just 90 minutes from Manhattan. So the, the other cool thing is that you get to go up and see it being made. You need to create time and space for writers and actors and directors and everyone to find a play, what it is, what it's trying to say, um, what shape it wants to take, and to have um, a place kind of off the beaten path that uh, is close enough to New York, but really far away, um, to, to find it safely. You know, it's the, the whole the whole place is kind of baby proof. You know, there's nothing that's going to hurt you up there. It's only going to help you. So, um, yeah, I just find my experiences up there are always um, invigorating, but they but it feels safe. You know, it, it it feels like the best kind of situation to incubate a new a new piece. You know, to to get everybody together, I think that's one of the wonderful things, and to and to honor the people, not just the people you see all the time in on stage and film, but the people that are behind the scenes and the ones that actually are making things work, like our directors and like our press agents. So, um, so it's you know it's going to be a wonderful event tonight, and I'm very excited to be here. It's super important. I mean, it's the farm system for our New York theater, and we have to have that. So I'm, I'm happy to be here and support them. And I love going up there and working on stuff because it's such a, a nurturing environment. Well, it's about new work, you know. And if if we're going to sustain, um, we have to nurture new work, and we have to nurture new artists and new voices. And that's what it's here for. So it's really great.